believe that I had brunch with a Nazi. Oh, I don't know if I'd call them fellas Nazis. Really? It was like the beer hall putsch of 1923. I already missed the warning signs riding with these guys all this time. Cap, you were only riding with them guys for a week. Yeah, but it was a very intense week. And a fun one. I'm selling the bike. Don't sell the bike. No, you love that bike. I love the idea of it. Well, don't beat yourself up too much. I get it. I understand. You do? Yeah, I mean, you've been kind of kind of left to your own devices lately. You've been a little isolated. Isolated? Yeah. Look, Catherine took that job in D.C. Right? Your son's running around. He's planning the rest of his life. I know Mateo's been spending a lot of time over at Nancy's. And you and me don't hardly see each other outside of work because I'm at home trying to learn a toddler how to potty proper. It'll take care of itself. Yeah, that's the word. So... You think I'm lonely? I think you could use a friend. No. The last time I tried fishing for a friend, he tried to steal my firehouse and then tried to knock it down with a wrecking ball. No, Judd, I'm not lonely, I'm just bored. You're bored? Yeah. So you, you're telling me that you ain't living your best life? No. My best life is when I have dragons to slay. Owen. We slay dragons, big and small, all day, every day at the 126, and you're our captain. You got plenty of purpose. Maybe. Well, if it's any comfort to you, just wait around a minute and something awful's bound to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Judd. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm.